So this is the dialyzer, which is hollow fiber artificial kidney. Many times resident asks, sir, what are the types of dialyzer? Before going into the types of dialyzer, we will see what are all the five important parameters which will decide the characteristic of the dialyzer. So inside this, there are micro capillaries. This white color thing. So just for the basic understanding, the blood goes from here to here. Or if I have to tell according to the color code, from this side the blood enters, the blood exits. On this side, dialysate enters and the dialysate exits. Inside that, there are n number of micro capillaries. Micro capillaries are made up of some synthetic material. There are five important parameters with which the type of dialyzer can be decided. How to remember that? I will let you know one by one. First is the pore size. What is the pore? See, this is the micro capillary. In simple terms, if I have to show, let us take an A4 sheet. If I rotate it, if I have to take one micro capillary and show you like this, this is how a micro capillary looks like. The blood goes inside, the dialysate will be roaming outside or rotating outside. In the micro capillaries, there will be hole or you can say it as pore. The pores will be on the surface of this. The first one is the pore size. The second one is the pore density or you can call hole, actually hole. The small holes will be there on the surface. You won't be able to see that because these are micro capillaries. Inside that micro capillaries, the holes are present on the surface. To mark it, for example, these are the holes, small holes. It will have hole or I call that as pore. One is the pore size. The second characteristic is the pore density. How many pores are there in the micro capillaries? The third important character is the surface area of this micro capillaries inside that you can calculate the surface area and the effective surface area usually will be mentioned in the dialyzer the fourth one is the protein binding capacity how much protein it is binding whether it is binding the protein or leaking into, into the dialysate side that is also an important character the fifth one is the thickness of the membrane what is the thickness? Thickness is nothing but as I showed, this is one micro capillary. This thickness, this thickness is the thickness of the micro capillary. So, the five important parameters one is pore size, pore density, the thickness, protein binding capacity, and the surface area, which is the effective surface area. These five characters decide the dialysis clearance and many other parameters based on which dialyzer can be classified one simple uh, out of the five things i discussed one thing if i have to show the effective surface area is mentioned here for this particular dialyzer the effective surface area is mentioned here so these five important parameters you have to be aware that will decide the type of dialyzer and what is the importance of each characteristic on the dialyzer sorry on the dialysis that we will see in subsequent videos one by one regarding what is the impact of surface area on the clearance what is the impact of the pore size what is meant by high flux dialyzer what is meant by low flux dialyzer what is the advantage and disadvantage we will see in the next video in this video we have seen the five important parameters which decides the characteristic of the dialyzer and uh, in simple terms, I have shown you the help of a 4 sheet also. Bye-bye.